Good morning, everybody. Okay, this first sale that I went to was actually a sale to benefit a local um, dog park that we enjoy going to. So I definitely didn't haggle on prices. I think I ended up spending a total of $12 here. And I got off to an early start this morning and it was so crowded still. I felt like I could have left a little bit earlier. Honestly, I'm thinking I should have left about 6.30 in the morning. But yeah, they have some really nice stuff there. I couldn't figure out what in the world this gold piece was. Do you guys know what this is? Yeah, it's some makeup bags. Oh yeah, I ended up buying this. This is a silver Godinger. Hopefully I said that right. Um, it's like a paperweight. It was $5, I got it. Let's see, next sale. This is actually a community sale. I was disappointed there weren't more uh, houses that were participating. I think people thought it was going to rain, so there wasn't as much participation, but it didn't end up raining. It was just overcast and kind of um, windy. It was really nice this morning. I didn't really see too much here that I was interested in. Uh, they had something called, this is a hookah, I guess. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's like, some kind of a smoking device. I've heard about hookah, but I've never done it or seen it done. Yeah, um, but yeah, and here are some tools. Like the lady said in the video, who doesn't need tools? Everybody needs some tools sometimes. Some Betty Boop uh, car floor mats Thank there. Good. She was in a hurry. <laughs> okay, next sale. Let's see what we got. Got some shoes down there. Ooh, some jewelry, hello. Now, I thought these pieces were super cute, but the sweet little lady, she wanted a dollar a piece and none of them were marked. Um, so yeah, I passed on these. I've got so many brooches like this at home. To me, I mean, I would have been willing to pay a quarter each. Uh, yeah, not a dollar each. Would you guys have bought those for a dollar each? For everything. She was she yeah, was pretty uh, adamant about that dollar each. Oh, I loved her jade bracelet. It was really pretty. Yeah, this one right I think at one point she was gonna give me I know she's counting them out, she says five dollars. <laughs> Okay, on to the next one. You gotta move fast when they have these community sales. If you wanna go to a mall because there's just so many of them, you gotta really hustle. So I see some cool fishing poles over there at the left. I think they wanted about $25 each on those. Would you guys have got those poles for $25 each? And I thought this was really pretty, a palm tree, like stained glass. It felt really lightweight. I wasn't sure if it was, uh, I think it was more like plastic and not necessarily glass. I don't know anything about reels. And when I go look at it, they had $10 on that. Lots of pretty pictures. This lady was actually getting rid of all of her nautical decor. And she said she was redoing uh, some rooms in her house. So that's why you see so much like, there's a bunch of fish stuff and sea life stuff. But yeah, that was, there were some really cool things there. 75 bucks, 90 bucks here. Some little class paperweights. I would have picked these up, but I actually have a whole bunch of these right now. I'm probably gonna take them to my antique booth. And these bottles, I think these were like just wine and maybe beer bottles. So I didn't get any of those. But normally I do love the pretty colored glass. That, I think she picked that up at Marshall's. Uh, I think it said $11.99 on the bottom. Lots of nautical stuff, huh? Uh -huh. Some plates. Okay, you're changing it up. Uh -huh. 
purses. Let's see what's over here. Now here are some really right, cool stained glass pieces and really great prices too. Three dollars each on the bigger ones and I think a dollar for the smaller ones. I definitely pick these up and I will be uh, either putting these in my antique booth and, or maybe I'll take them to the auction house. I'm not sure yet. But really pretty. 60 bucks is cheap as I'm going. I really like those. Stained glass is so pretty. Do you guys like stained glass? It's 90 bucks worth of colors at 10 bucks a piece. So. It's a little bluebird one. I think that's a bluebird. But yeah, for one dollar, I'll take it. I think I can clean that up. Maybe I didn't get the bluebird one. I don't think I did. <laughs> I haven't even unloaded my car yet, you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they had a bunch of NASCAR stuff, but some guy came in and he bought all of that stuff for, I think, $60, so he got a really good deal. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Some clothing, glassware. Some jewelry. I got my finger over there, you guys. Good. Now, some of you guys have been telling me that you'd like to see a wide, uh, like, be able to see, you want me to zoom out so you can see more of what's on the table. And I've been talking with some friends, and I think I'm actually going to have to go get a GoPro to use to record this, uh, these videos instead of my iPhone. I think that way I can give y'all a wider angle so you can see more of the garage stuff. Okay, I don't know why we're looking at the concrete. Let's lift that up there, Tanya. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard, like I'm, I'm like shopping, but I forget I'm also trying to make you guys a video. So you really gotta, gotta be a little bit aware of what's going on. Those little dogs are so cute. Oh, and I was getting ready to leave and I had like this uh, bottle opener was attached to the magnet on my key ring. I was like, oh no, I gotta go put that back. <laughs> Okay, on to another one. Enjoying this lovely weather. It is so nice. Shoes here. The sun's not beating down on us. It's a heck of a lot better than the sun beating down. You're right. Let's see. This is a nice leather wallet. Flask. I don't think I ended up getting anything at this sale. They had a whole bunch of clothes, but I just got to that community sale, so I was in a hurry to get on to the next. Got some little plushies here at a dollar each. Now there are some things that I actually did end up picking up this morning that I don't think that I got on video, but, but I will definitely show you guys everything here in just a minute. Now those Antimama dolls uh, back there, those are definitely valuable. They actually wanted $30. I'm not sure what they were uh, exactly. They were made of ceramic, but they're definitely valuable. Got some furniture. Oh, yeah, it is nice. And a bug. How cute is that um, beetle? Yeah, they had some cool stuff here. Some tools, some yard tools. Another sill. Got some plush, some party decor. Halloween and Christmas. Now, I was going to get these, but they look like they had a lot of wear to them. Like, I didn't know if maybe that black stuff on that second one was kind of flaking, and I just didn't want to risk selling something like that that wasn't in really good condition.
There were actually two community sales this morning, so I did make it over to both. Like I said, a whole lot of people weren't participating because they thought it was going to rain. Got some neat bracelets. And some jewelry. <laughs> this all looked like fashion jewelry to me. I much rather prefer the vintage jewelry. Some home decor, some lamps and candles. Drop your pants here, oh my. <laughs> Yeah, they had some really nice things. And like I said, it's so funny because a lot of times whenever I'm actually at the sale um, and then I watch the video back, I'm thinking, oh gosh, you know, what was I thinking? Why didn't I pick that up? So it happens though, you get in a hurry and you're just so focused uh, that you don't always pick up everything that you want. Okay, on to the next one. Let's see, less concrete and more garage. So here we go. Got some plushies. This seems to be the theme of today. Like all the plush seem to be right there as soon as you walk up to the garage cell. I didn't see a whole bunch. I didn't thoroughly look in there. I'm kind of overrun with plush right now. Uh, so until I sell some of what I have, I probably won't be picking up a whole lot unless it's just an amazing deal. On to the next one. We got some clothes on the tarp down there. Some picture frames. I really liked this artificial plant, but I'm really trying to get away from the artificial plants. I've sold a lot of them locally that I had in my house. and They're just dust collectors, right? What do you guys think? Do you like the artificial plants or do you prefer the real plants in your house? So the real plants can help to uh, filter or clean the oxygen in your house. So that's good. So here they have some coach purses. These were really nice. I think she said she wanted at least 20 for that one. Um, but there just wouldn't be enough meat on the bone for me to try and resell that. I wouldn't think. And then, you know, there's so many uh, knockoffs of Coach made. And you just got to be really careful if you're going to resell it. Now, if you're going to keep it for yourself, that would be good. But not for resell. Unless you're 100% sure. So, and there are ways to tell real coaches. You know, you can go on YouTube and I'm sure there's videos about how to tell if a Coach purse is real or not. wallet oh, I'm sorry I'm moving around so fast look at that mirror over there with the angels oh my goodness let's go check that out yeah for five dollars I gotta get this I love this I love stuff like this you can see how overcast it was today there in the mirror So have some silverware here. Sometimes the flatware can sell really well depending upon the company who made it. So if it's cheap enough, I will definitely pick that up as well. Let's go over here. Looks like they have some wallets and some sunglass cases. Um, a Ralph Lauren one, and I believe the other one that I looked at was Ann Klein. So I did get both of those. I think they were a quarter each. And I did pick up these sunglasses as well. So sunglasses are something I like to pick up the sales because I can uh, resell them or sometimes I'll keep them for myself as well because I'm always dropping glasses and breaking them or losing them. So sunglasses is not something I really spend a lot of money on usually. So that was New York and Company, I believe. I did not end up getting that necklace bracelet set. So here are some books. I'm probably about to turn off the video so I can scan them real quick. 
they were free. I felt bad taking them though, but I did want to see if they were worth anything, but um, they weren't, so I, I didn't pick them up. Left them there for somebody else. This was a really good sale. I ended up buying a lot of stuff here. Uh, here in a minute, we'll get to some jewelry. The The man, uh, the husband said that his mother had passed away and she was a jewelry collector. So we'll see here in a minute all the things that they had. But first, let's look at some shoes. Here's a pair of coach sandals. Oh, look at that little dog, he's so cute. A pair of coach little flip-flop sandals. I didn't see a price on them, and actually I thought they looked pretty worn. I'm not sure if anyone would buy those, so I just passed. Let's see a pair of Toms over there. Love Toms, I've got a gazillion pair of those. Especially like to wear those in the winter. Down here in Texas, it's pretty hot, so mostly I'm wearing flip-flops all the time. So some more coach purses, lots of coach purses I'm seeing. Now this was a cool case. There was nothing in it, and I'm not sure what was in it to begin with, but it was a neat case. Um, I think they're usually like the same, like if they're a solid color on the inside, maybe. I have no clue. Like I think it'll never be a print. Never be a print. I mean, that one looks legit to me. It does? Yeah. Now that lady was asking me how, how she could tell if the coach purse was real or not. And I have heard that the interior will always be a solid color. It's a okay. good tip to know. So if you buy a coach purse or you see one and the interior has a print on it, it's probably not real. Okay, so here's all the jewelry. Now, just looking at it, you would think that it is all new. And my first clue that it wasn't all new because of the bagging, the way it's bagged, is I found a cute little gold tone Avon mouse in one of the bags and I knew for a fact that that was vintage so I was like wait a second. So I asked the lady where she got these bags because I really liked them. I actually asked her how did you seal these bags and she said oh I didn't. She said um, I got them at Hobby Lobby so if you look closely at the packaging there is a place at the bottom where you can um, flip it up, I guess like fold it back up and you can put something in there. But they also have these little holes at the top. So if you're going, like I have an antique booth, so these would be perfect for me to use in my antique booth. So really nice packaging. So if you guys wanna buy some like this, you can find them at Hobby Lobby. But yeah, I think I ended up spending about $20 at this sale. I did see a lot of Brighton inspired jewelry. I'm not sure for a fact that it was all Brighton, but I did pick up a few pieces that looked like Brighton. But yeah, when I was talking to the husband about his mother, uh, of course, I told him, you know, sorry for his loss. His mother had passed away, but... Oh, yeah, and I couldn't make out what that said. I didn't have my glasses, so I was too lazy to get them out. Uh, but he said that she would just spend, like, you know, hours going through her jewelry. And I'm like, oh, yes, I know. I know what she meant because I can easily do the same thing. It's like I just get lost in it. So I will do the same thing. Love, look at all the jewelry. Right. Here are some really cool pictures. I have some similar to these, but they're a little bit smaller. They're like vintage horse racing pictures, I think, or uh, maybe a game or something. Some neat pictures there. Love the colors on that red one. Creepy little girl one, George Washington. Yeah, they wanted $5 a picture. I just didn't want to mess with it. But if I did mess with it, I probably would have put them in my antique booth or taken them to the auction house. This is a really cool little desk and chair set. And they wanted $50 for it. 
wish I would have room for it somewhere in my house. I just loved it. Got some shoes and some books down here. An Amish, the Amish cook. Thought that looked interesting. Some clothes. Am I missing anything, you guys? Do you see something you would have picked up? I did end up buying this picture frame here. I am just attracted to this kind of stuff. So I spent, I believe a dollar, it was only a dollar. So I'll do something with that. I don't believe I got anything else at the sale. But they had some neat home decor items. Another little chest, maybe a kitchen chest. It had like some beans in there and some kind of kitchen storage. They wanted $20 for that. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Some more pictures. Oh, that one was interesting. This is a neat suitcase. It said U.S. on it or something like that. They wanted $7. On to the next sale. This sale, oh, this lady here, she actually, we got to started talking about Poshmark. She had a ton of jewelry Hi, available. How are you? And she was telling me how she has it listed on Poshmark. Now I was checking out these little, uh, containers here these little like box decorative box trunk type things that look like a Louis Vuitton print so I was like all over it looking at it but um, then I saw the jewelry <laughs> so I had to come check that out now she did want three dollars that's what I'm for her jewelry I felt like that was a little bit high for resale not high so much if you're going to keep it for yourself though Yeah, but yeah, she was a real sweet lady. We talked for quite a while about Poshmark. And I got some good ideas from her too. I like, I like her little, little necklace, necklace holder here, <clears throat> little display. I just take everything off and it's all laid in my closet. Oh no. But yeah, she was telling me that Marshall's, uh, the store actually has some really neat jewelry displays. So I'm hoping to get over there one day this week and check it out. Okay, next sale, we got some books. Okay, great, thanks. Lots of books, actually. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, these are cute. Little Thanksgiving salt and pepper shakers, I think those were. Little tin container, I love the tin containers. Oh, this sale was weird, I remember now. The lady, like, she was just like, I felt like she was following me and looking at me everywhere I went. So I kind of just wrapped it up and got out of there pretty quick. I did end up getting this little bitty mouse uh, music player. Not sure what's happening here right now. But yeah, that little mouse uh, plays You Are My Sunshine, My Only Sunshine. So I love that. I'll probably put that in my booth. So let's see here what is going on. Do I even know that I'm recording at this point? I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Okay, next sale. Got a cool toddler boy's bed. Some toys. 
this poor child, no, wait, let me back up, this poor mother, <laughs> her child was very upset about something, and I felt so bad for her. Um, she was trying to have her sail, and her son was upset, so he was just not a happy camper. So I spared you guys uh, much more footage here because he was crying. So I think I'm about to cut it off. So yeah, let me show you guys everything that I got. Okay, we are actually in the back of my car. I'm somewhere where I have to waste some time. So I figured what better time to show you guys my haul than in the back of my car. <laughs> So um, here is another picture that I picked up. This one was $1. I love the gold frame, especially the design on the frame and the vintage little picture. So I love that. I'll probably put that in my antique booth for $10. And then also check this piece out. This was so cool and I only paid $2 for this. It is so tall. I might actually keep that in my house somewhere. And then I got this little globe set up here. And this was $2 also. So I'll probably put that in my booth, I don't know, for like $15 maybe. <coughs> um, there are all of the stained glass pictures that I picked up. You guys saw those. Um, I picked up a pair of these Dr. Scholl's shoes. They were a dollar. I'm probably going to list these on Macari and maybe Poshmark. And here's that frame. This frame is super heavy, you guys. But yeah, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And then, you guys know I love to pick up the Bright and Tens whenever I see them. These were only a quarter each. And I got two of them. I actually have something in this one. Let's see what I got. Okay, so a couple pieces of jewelry I got. This little bitty um, bike brooch. It is marked, I want to say it says AK. And then I got this pretty bracelet. It's starting to rain. I better hurry up. <laughs> and I got this little pendant here. I do believe it's marked uh, 925. So I'm excited about that one. Let's see what else. Oops. I also got, and I don't know what this was originally used for, but it's super heavy. I would even be willing to say it's cast iron. Um, but yeah. I got this at that sale to benefit the dog park and it was $5. I am going to use it for probably necklaces to display. A pair of sunglasses for a quarter. And here is that Godinger, I uh, got G-O-D-I-N-G-R, I have no idea if I'm saying it right or not. It is a huge uh, engagement ring paperweight, $5. I actually looked these up. These do not go for that much money. I'll probably keep it for myself. Here is a Guido's, Guido's famous seafood restaurant in Galveston, Texas, which is about 20 minutes from where I live. I paid 50 cents for this, and these used to go for really good money. I haven't scanned it yet, but for 50 cents, I went ahead and picked that up. And here's that gorgeous angel picture, um, uh, mirror rather, that you guys saw me get. So I love that. I do love it, but I'll probably end up selling it. So let's see what else I got in the back of my car. Okay, so for one dollar, one dollar, I got this uh, really huge jewelry hanger. So I guess this top part here, you put rings in, and I guess you can hang like necklaces up there and bracelets down here, perhaps. But for a dollar, I thought I'd take a chance on that, figure that out. And here are some neat pictures. These are really also heavy. Love the gold framing. And these are actually oil paintings. And I paid $2 each for these. So there's the back. 
definitely looks vintage. And then there is the other one. Like I said, I got all of this stuff for $20. So I feel like I got a whole lot. Um, <clears throat> then for a dollar, I got these two. I'll probably take these up to my antique booth as well. Some vintage pictures. And they say Italy there on the back. Really neat. Let's set it on that oil painting. Now these were definitely different. Two dollars for the set. Let's see. So check these out. It's like some kind of a porcelain material. There's a lady. Well, they're like colonial. I would say colonial. What do you guys think? And then there's the man. And this is like some kind of fabric. And then the metal framing. And then that's what the back looks like. It says something over there, but it's just somebody's address. Okay. And then I picked up some clothes. They were 50 cents each. I'll probably take these up to consignment. You guys know that's another way I like to make money. And I got this little jewelry box here. You know, I love the jewelry boxes and the trinket boxes. Really pretty. Some green velvet interior there. Some flowers on the top. And it was 50 cents. Let me get that back in here. And I got this really pretty vase. I love this, how it's the cut crystal like this. And it is just, let me show you guys, it is full of the jewelry that I bought. And I got this pretty purple necklace too. Love the colors on that. So these are the bags that you guys saw. And I guess apparently they open here, right here, right there. So yeah, this one, I thought it looked like Chico's, but I think it is maybe Premier Designs. I haven't got out my loot just yet. These are some really pretty earrings. Another pair of earrings. I'm trying to go through this fast. Here's that little gold Avon uh, vintage mouse. I was telling you guys about. He's cute. And I got a cuff watch. Let me see what the front of this is. I can't read what that says. Maybe you guys can tell me. Don't have my glasses on right now. I probably should. Got a cute little candy cane Christmas brooch. This is one that I felt like looked like Brighton. It's really pretty. And this one is also pretty. It's like a cabochon, white and gold brooch. And it is, I think the only marking on it is like this heart. So if anybody knows if that means anything, I'd love for you to let me know. And then I picked up this turquoise, I guess it's like a pendant or a brooch. Love the turquoise. We got a gold tone flower here. It is marked there on the back. I can't read what it says for sure, but I'm going to look at all this later on tonight. Real pretty bracelet. Kind of like um, Mother of Pearl or the iridescent look about it. Let's see, we got a little necklace and earring set here. Got a fine pink and orange and clear rhinestone statement necklace. Oh, sorry, you guys had to see my arm there. And another pretty uh, Pauline Faye turquoise necklace. And check out this ring. This is really different. I've never seen a ring like this. So, see how it has the double bands? And it looks blue, but watch this. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Flip it over. And now it's a totally different ring. How cool is that? 
I had to get this so I could show you guys. I've never seen anything quite like it. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. How it changes like that. So let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like that or if it has a name for it, what it's called. I'm not even sure. But so yeah, my arm, I'm so, sorry you guys had to see that blood. I'm on steroids right now because of a health condition. And anything I bump into, my skin starts bleeding. So I have to be really careful. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends. And we will see you guys next weekend. Bye everybody. Have a great week.